Hey there, how are you doing today? I hope you are well. Uh, today is the video for my birthday, which is technically in two days and a couple of days after this video gets posted, but it's whatever. I don't care. Um, it's my birthday month, right? We still do that nowadays. Millennials, we started to celebrate the whole birthday month, so all of July is my birthday, yes. Celebrate! So, I decided to do just a little bit of a fun sort of messing around with this video um, by calling it Beauty and the Beast or There Be Giants Here. Um, we talked in the past about the various sizes of Star Trek figures, but towards the end of the time that Playmates had the line in the late 90s, they started doing some weird stuff. Uh, and today is looking at two of those more interesting items. First, and the cool thing about it is both of these are things that I enjoy having on my shelf. The first one, I don't even know if I can get her in the full end of this camera. It's a 12 inch, which is the same size as like a Barbie. Seven of nine. They made, I want to say probably about a dozen, 15 or so figures in the 12 inch size. Um, it was mostly next generation characters, a few Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Um, and honestly, I think from Voyager, the only ones they actually made was uh, Janeway and Seven, now that I really think about it. Uh, I know that they made uh, Cisco from Deep Space Nine, but I honestly can't remember if they made any welds. Uh, they did do uh, Kirk, and they did Kirk in a. Uh, they did Kirk in his original series uniform, Kirk in his movie uniform, and they did Kirk in his Romulan disguise uh, in the 12-inch version. But these are really great sculpts on these on the heads for these. I mean, of course, you know, the bigger you get, the better you can do. Um, it's an all-cloth bodysuit outfit. Articulation is really, really nice on these. Um, you've got the swivel and everything, the legs bent, and what's kind of cool is um, they have the uh, elastic band to help hold the pants in place better on the figure. Um, like I said, this figure is so big that i got to sit her down to actually get her on the camera. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in the way that they did this sort of embroidery thing for the combat because it doesn't really make it look much like the com badge. Uh, that's really the only kind of letdown on those figures is I'd have, I'd have preferred that they kind of go with the decal look that they did on the uh, the 9-inch figures that they were making before these. Um, so, from the giant 12-inch 7 or 9, who I'm going to put way back here, might get most of her in the screen there, kind of popping out of the box. We go to The Beast, which, the funny thing about this, a lot of people complain, Playmates never made a Martok figure, they never made a Martok figure. Playmates never made any kind of Martok figure. Well, they kind of did, except, do you remember the scene at the end of Ninja Turtles 2, where Shredder takes the, uh, the super serum and comes popping back out and he looks like he's done about two tons of steroids in a single dose and starts to try and rip through the turtles you know like their butter kind of thing well that's what they did to Martok they made him oops seven's seven needs to lay down she's tired he's uh He's ready to kick some butt. Um, <laughs> I kind of love this figure just because it is so insanely ridiculous. Um, and you can tell it's Martok because he actually has the... If I can get the camera angled right, you can't see it because of the shadow. He has the scarred eye from his time in the Dominion prison. Um, 
He came with a Batleth as well, which I would have misplaced that. Uh, but I don't really care. He's still this ridiculous, roided out, massive, angry Klingon that just sits on my shelf. The hair detail is actually really awesome on this. It's all one rubbery piece. But the detailing all over, I mean, look at the, the leather belt. I mean, it's the leather. I mean, look at the detail on that ass. Um, I mean, but though the boots, the I mean, it's 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 really incredible how they you know, all the sculpting detail that went into this. There are a lot of rubber parts as well, like the little skirt piece here. You know, the, obviously the hair that I talked about, and even the uh, sort of shoulder pads type thing. Um, the articulation is incredibly awkward but it works because it's just a ridiculously oversized angry Martok and it looks even better if, if I take and have it be that Martok is, is being cared for by giant 709 all right, well, that's it from this. This is my birthday. I'm going to go have some fun. If you want to send me a gift, you can check out my Gil wish list on Amazon or just send me money on PayPal if you like. I don't care. We could do that. Just send me the money. Thank you. I will see you next time. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Also, you can support the show by signing up on Patreon, or head over to Zazzle to pick up prints of my artwork, prints on canvas, t-shirts, and other merch. You can find me on social media. For more information and updates on the channel, all info is below. If you didn't enjoy the video, why are you still here? Do you want a song? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, them, yes, them, three bags full. One for the master, who can screw himself, you can listen to somebody else.